Hi, my name is Jim Woodward. I'm with the Solutions Team here at Vectorworks. In this video, we'd like to show you how to get a quick start to creating rigging documentation with Vectorworks. Before we get started, I want to show a few of the preferences. In calculating, we have the ability to apply a safety factor. This will multiply the force. We can use usability, which is one to one. And we also have some calculation settings on how this applies to calculations and some of the options. We also have the, how we class the information so we can toggle off any of the influence lines to see just certain forces. In the workload display, we can show a graphical representation of a heat map to show overload. Now let's start off in a top plan view and let's go into a hoist tool in the rigging tool set. Let's select the symbol. We're going to turn auto numbering on. We're going to start with the hoist ID and we'll start with LX1. Now when we want those to show up on the drawing, we just apply measurement label and hoist ID. After we add these, by clicking, want to make sure that we see that red indicator that is the auto connect, that it's joining to a system. We've now supported those three systems. Going to an ISO view, let's take a look at how we can calculate this. We go into Spotlight and we go into Rigging Braceworks Reports. Let's calculate visible. Now right now we'll have a little bit of roll because all those fixtures are on one cord. We could spread those out to avoid that. We have the cross-section workload, the hoist workload, in the analysis. Now if we select all of the influence lines with the select similar tool, I'm going to get those just a little more line weight and we're also going to bump up the text size so you can see the results. Now in classing, I can turn any of these forces on and off as I need to. If I want to see, let's just say the deflection on the Z, and if I zoom in, we'll see what that deflection is. These are scalable lines, so they're easy to read from a distance. And we can also apply the heat map. Look like that's all pretty good. So we're going to go and run a calculation report. If we go into Spotlight and we go into Rigging Braceworks report, let's create a calculation report. After filling out some cover pages information, we create a PDF. It'll open up in preview automatically on the Macintosh, and we now have a report we can share. This goes into the full calculation, what materials we used, and the formulas. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, feel free to reach out to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo with a solution specialist. You can also explore more tutorials and helpful guides on Vectorworks University or check out our onboarding content to get the most of your trial.